put it in it. Another episode of People's Mike. I am Jimmy Peoples. Introduce yourself. I'm Kevin Cam. How's it going? I'm Nisiel. Orlando Perez. Okay. Hi. How are you? We're back. Good. It's another day in the neighborhood. <laughs> episode 437. Mm-hmm. Um, man, I, 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 we're talking about a lot. What are we talking about? Um, I don't think we're talking about anything at all. Well, well, shut up. <laughs> well, we're talking shit about comedians. Uh, not talking shit. Um, there's no good specials out right now. Yeah, I just don't. I don't even watch any of those. Like, you know, I get too overwhelmed. Like, if there was one thing, and it, you know, three weeks or like a month, there was only one thing, I'd put the time aside. But like, by the time someone's like, "Oh, have you seen Birds?" There's like a new one, and then another one. Yeah. I'm like, "Okay, I'm, I'm not watching it. anything." You know, just sign your name. You feel bombarded. I feel name. bombarded. I don't want to. And plus, everyone's like recommending things. They're like, "Oh, you gotta watch this." And I'm always like, "What? You think you're the one? I'm gonna listen to your thing out of the thousand people who tell me I should watch or listen." I'm gonna. I'm the type of person when somebody tells me that I gotta go do it. I'm yeah. like, "Oh fuck!" Oh, I'm so already, you do? Yeah, you're the yeah, person yeah, who does it. Yeah. So when somebody says, "Hey, you gotta go see this," I'm like, "I don't want to go see this." But it's better. I do that more with girls when I, when I, that I date. Yeah, and like, hey, I'm watching this on Netflix. Because you want to like, find an interest in yeah, it, right? And I'm like, oh, I don't want to fucking watch Mindhunters. But, but if I want to relate. Yeah! What is it, Mindhunters? Mindhunters. Yeah. Yeah. Like I did watch The Good Place. And that, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. yeah I that, like was that. that was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was cute. It was cute. Yeah. It grew on me. And I was like, yeah. all right. You know, somebody said Top Boy, and then I got into that. Uh-oh. Is that a gay thing? Yeah, yeah. no. Top Boy uh, sounds it does sound okay. But it's English, so it's like... Top boy? Yeah, top boy. The top boy. Yeah. <laughs> I English is this gay. I started watching The Good Place because my boyfriend at the time was watching it, and I was trying to find it. Mm-hmm. Find an in, and I was ground, like, yeah. it was good. It was like, uh, yeah. I've only seen the first season, but I really liked it, but I just didn't like continue watching. I watched, I watched, I watched yeah. like the first episode of the second season, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm good. If the first three are good, then I'm usually hooked. Yeah. 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 You know? It, it takes a lot for like, the first one to be like, I was watching a... Uh, my, my client's Jewish, and he was like, you got to watch uh, Fodder, some, some Jewish shit. <laughs> Jewish. He's all, he's all, he's one, he's yeah. Jewish. So he's like, you got to watch this, this Jewish Netflix special. I was like, <laughs> no. Yeah, no, it's just, uh, it's about a, a Muslim cop or some shit. Oh, and there's we'll, a nice twist. The yeah. Jewish guy telling you to watch the Muslim thing? Yeah. Nice. I, I, it's so, it, but it was, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even remember. You know, I, I, I had subtitles. I was like, I can't even yeah, watch this at the same time. I used to do the same thing where I'd like watch things just so I could talk to people about stuff. Yeah, but then yeah. but then after you run out, like once you've talked about Handmaid's Tale and there's mm-hmm. nothing left mm-hmm. and you're like, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. then it's not worth it because you got to always come yeah. up with your own stuff anyway. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to rely on myself because yeah. I don't want to run out of ammunition. I saw one episode of Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. I've never actually. I, I don't know. I haven't seen it either. Uh, I, yeah. I binge watched it, and it's like really not meant to be binge watched. So uh, like, I was so paranoid yeah. for the next like several days that like people were out to get me. And, really? Like, oh yeah. Is that bad? Uh, <laughs> but then like it gets in your mind, and like I don't know. I get into it. I, I was like, I watched one episode. I was like, where's this fucking going, man? And shows could be that very way. little dialogue and a lot of yeah. intense looking around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Would you, you, would you would you say <laughs> that you're normally a paranoid person anyway? No, I oh. wouldn't. But I do think that I'm very, like, I get very enthralled in what I'm watching. So, uh, like, uh, like I'm someone where someone wants to say something, I want to pause it because I don't even want to miss that little sure, bit. Sure, that's of, the like, best way. That's the proper way. Yeah. So, yeah. if I am binging something, like, it kind of bleeds into my life for a little bit. That's the worst when you're, like, excited. I don't even try to, I don't think anyone tries to do this anymore because they know it's cute. It's not going to work, but, like... When you're like trying to sh- watch someone, have someone watch a movie with you, and they finally sit down and do it, and they're like, "All right, I'm gonna go take a dump, leave it playing," you know, just leave uh, it going. You're like, "Oh, yeah. it's fine, man." It's they, they're like, they're on their phone. Yeah. I'm like, "You're not oh, even my watching the, my favorite movie," yeah. you know. Yeah. I used to like my favorite things. I try to get other people like as excited as I was. I I gave up on that a while ago. You know? Yeah, you got to detach from it. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like you'll drive yourself crazy while yeah. you're on your phone while you're watching it. Like I, got, I did that uh, two two show the uh, the the one about the Central Park Five had me oh. looking at people like fuck everybody yeah and then, uh, and then people would like watch it over my shoulder on the train and then, mm-hmm. and I look up and I'm like 
Uh, is it a black thing? It's a black thing. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy, are you? <laughs> I just guessed from the context. I have no idea. I've never heard of that thing. It's, it's like super when they see us. Though. Yeah, it's funny. Like it's super fun. Fun. when they yeah. see us. Yeah. What is it? They frame these kids. Of, uh, uh, they, they accuse them of, of raping a jogger. And then they, uh, they, they spent a lot of time in jail. Like kids. Yeah, that's, that's the word. Like they were that's the saddest thing. I hate hearing yeah. about that. Didn't yeah. Trump have something to do with that? Like that he like blamed like Well, I think yeah. it was that they just profiled them completely. Yeah. They were like, This one was raped, it was probably them, and then they took him yeah. in without parents and just like interrogated they just them until they yeah. Dude, that's so I that's I hate that. Yeah, it's fucking brutal. One of them, you know, went through the system. He went through the whole system. Yeah. That's yes. so sad. Yes. Did they pay him out? I mean, it doesn't matter, it doesn't, but yeah. it doesn't matter, but I'm just yeah, wondering. So. Yeah. Well, and, like, there's so much research to say that, like, when kids are interrogated, like, they're they're programmed to listen to adults. So if an adult mm-hmm. is like, I know you did this, just admit you did this, they're like, so right, much more likely it. to eventually yeah. just be like, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you said I did. Yeah. You know? That's crazy. Um, yeah. Um, but, Jimmy, you're a paranoid person. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Am I? Yeah. Okay. You don't think you are? Maybe, yeah. You're paranoid. I'm, I'm paranoid because of factual stuff. Yeah, there's a difference between you know? paranoia and yeah. just being aware of what's the reality of okay, the world. Okay, let's not <laughs> get... There's black people who aren't as paranoid no, as you. No, I have a black man complex, absolutely, 100%. Wait, but... No, that's but just... It's, it's different. Like, I'll be in relationships with girls yeah. who don't know the black experience. Uh-huh. And they'll be like, oh, no, this never happens. Or, uh, no, I mean, to, with years, and then... And then we'll break up, and they'll be like, "Did you know they're killing black men?" And I'm like, uh-huh. "Yeah, you know, shit like that, you know." Yeah, and I'll be, and then we'll have we would have arguments in the relationship, like, "Yo, I don't want to go. I just don't yeah. want to go out and be bothered with people, you mm-hmm. know, because they look at me funny at Walmart, and like people don't look at you funny." And then, uh, and then years after, you know, be like, "Do you know what they did at Walmart?" <laughs> shit like that. Yeah. Right? Okay. So that makes you. Fucked up, oh, weird. yeah. You know, oh, wait, you know, when, if nobody's listening, it's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I think even besides that, you're yeah. more paranoid than the average black. Man. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm just pointing that <laughs> out. <Yeah. laughs> give an example. How? No, I'll give you an, an example of uh, like other black. <laughs> like you're, I think you're more paranoid than like Chris Rails. I'm older. Yeah. Or, okay, well, if you're doing the age thing, that's, uh, I have no one to talk about. I don't know any middle-aged black guys in New York. I think maybe, like, Chris would be more like, like, oh, he just brushed, brushed to the side. Yeah. He's aware of it. But I'm saying but Chris, he's gonna Chris be like, would Yo. eat, uh, I always bring this example out because it's very weird uh, thing that Jimmy brought up. But, like, Chris could eat a strawberry on the subway. Jimmy's very paranoid that people are judging him if he's eating fruit on the subway. Bananas, I don't eat but now, the surf was a whole eat. It was oh, strawberries. You said strawberries. You said strawberries. You said strawberries. But, that, but then that's just you being like childish, isn't it, Jimmy? No, I don't know. I, I won't eat food in front of people. Food, generally. Yeah, general food. But also, I agree with that. There's certain foods yeah. that rank higher than other foods. Yeah. Like, I have food here. I want to like, eat it real quick. I mean, quick, I'll eat it so. here in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah, say this. But, let's say this. Let's say even if it was something like good. bananas. Mm-hmm. I think that's no. a little much. Being like, oh, oh they're thinking. Uh, yeah. I, no? No. Is it because I, I think black people come with a list, a, bit, a bigger list. Every every race maybe has a, a list of yeah. certain things we won't do. No, you're right. But I black people that. have a longer list. Yeah, yeah. of and things. If you've never experienced any consequence from doing things, then how would yeah. you? If you nobody know, said, yeah. "Hey, look at the, the black never... people are like monkeys," it's like, "Oh, maybe I'm not going to do that." You know? Yeah. Or, or you know? Because I think if I were black, I would probably not eat bananas in public. Either, no, honestly. no. If you say, "Oh, watermelon," I see black people eating a watermelon trim. Like, what the fuck are you doing? What? What, what are you doing, but Jimmy? That it, means- it is fair. The time change, but but even no. no. But you're con- you're contributing no. to the problem if no. you view it that way. No, fuck that. Fuck so that. you're you're saying if you're a black guy, just don't eat anything and that's so scary. Comics have a, have bits. Yeah. And I have, so I have maybe a longer list than other people. But yeah. Some people are like I don't give a fuck anymore. But then that would just have to do with being self conscious. Like, let also, me ask you. Aside something. from the racism, Orlando, Orlando, yeah. Orlando, you're Mexican. Yeah. Do you feel weird eating tacos in public mm, or burritos? I, I don't. But that's like going to the point where like I don't really like eating food in public. 
But like I was gonna say, That's like fair. Uh, I mean, tamales, tamales. Yeah. Like I have like they, they, there's always a lady selling it like literally outside the train station. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like if I'm really hungry, absolutely, I'll get one and I'll, I'll eat in the train because I gotta. I'm going but, somewhere, right? But, but has, I will feel a little weird. I'll feel a little weird. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll just devour it and like. But do you feel weird because you're Mexican or both. because? Oh, okay. But mainly because I just feel weird eating food, right? In, in public, but then also like me like oh being a little like 25 percent is because I'm Mexican is like I'm eating a. Interesting. So it's like a 75 25 thing where it's like you know I'm like. Uh-huh. I don't know, but yeah, I do see what it, where he's coming from with the banana because I'm like, damn, if I were black, I probably wouldn't want to eat the banana either. Huh. Or, or if I did, I would eat it real quick because I'm thinking that people are judging me. But you also have the food thing. I wish yeah. you didn't have the food thing so you could get. No. But he also has every, the food thing. Yeah, I have a bunch of things, but yeah. everybody likes donuts. But cops will still try to hide the fact that they're eating donuts. It's the same thing. Like, Get out of town, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> I see, you know when how many times you see a cop in like, Dunkin' Donuts. Like, let me get 14. <laughs> uh, they have no shame. When they see me sitting at the window, they think twice. They're like, this one. And they try to wait for me. Oh, you know, I don't think so. I'm yeah, but it's also because you're like fit. So they're, like, <laughs> they're, they're fit. thinking you're judging them because you're fit. Because I'm fit. What yeah. But they think twice about it. You know? But yeah. 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 Everyone gets you know? it. Every Asians day. you never see that with. Like, they never get in their head. Like, they'll order, like, you know. They have their own restaurants. They, won't, yeah. they don't eat the same shit we eat at their restaurants. No, they don't. You know? They eat different shit. What do you mean? Like, they don't eat all the fried shit. They, they eat, no, like, but they have very, like, they have opti- they, you'll see they an Asian like, person vegetables. eating octopus, and they're not thinking, like, oh, this is going to Because that's not that. a thing. It's, it's not a thing. For it's Asians? Not stereotype. But they're not, they're not publicly eating it, though. And they're not publicly eating it. Yeah. Huh? They're not eating it in public. Oh, like in, in Chinatown, yeah. they are. They'll, they'll but that's their town. That's their town. You're right. You're not going to Harlem. You're right. You're going to corner on a, you know, yeah. soapbox. I, I think there's a difference between being self-conscious and something that's become a survival instinct for, like... Yeah, but I, I understand that. But just knowing Jimmy, he's also very self-conscious and paranoid besides that. That's why I'm, I'm even... Yeah. So it's just added on. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. So you kind of have like the added on, like you know, you're oh you're, you're, you're minority yeah. and you're black. And Orlando and happens to be the same. I didn't know the food. Yeah, yeah. Thing, so, that's like that's that's right. so this is a you know, isn't the right sample uh, of people to be talking to? But I understand. I understand uh, the thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand it. Obviously, I'm like white, but like my dad, he's from somewhere where like he's the minority, and they have there was like there's a lot of things, and like because of like before the war, the climate, like he's very self-conscious about doing something that will draw attention because that's what's his survival instinct is like you fly under the radar yeah. that's how you don't get sunlight. Mm-hmm. which wait which war uh in cyprus there was it used to be mixed between greek and turkish uh-huh. and then it uh figure that out yeah. yeah. <laughs> the and Greek and a Turk. They look exactly uh, the same. Like, in my head, it's, oh, like, same, my it's still him. Him and him. Where are you from? Uh, Long Island. Yeah. What's the accent? Long Island. Is that a, a Long Island accent? Nice. Italian? No, Colombian. Okay. okay. I thought I, I heard something. Accent. It was something. Like Long Island. Yeah, Long Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Turkish. Are you from Cyprus? Cyprus? No. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. <laughs> Long Island, Colombian. Yeah. Turkish. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. <laughs> okay, though. I cut you off. Oh, that was it. Just okay. they, yeah. There's there's things I think that people learn in different things, and it's like yeah. it, you just carry it. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I got beat for a lot of shit, you know, when I was a kid. So it's like it's 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 I'm a little weirder. I guess no, no. You, you know? know what, Jimmy? I think I do relate with you a little bit because like uh, my parents are Middle Eastern, yeah. you know. And you don't, you don't like I don't like talking about it because I don't relate so much to it. Like I, yeah. people, New York is especially is very like identity central. Like I'm from LA, where people don't really give a fuck. But here they're like, "Where are you from?" I'm like, "LA," and they're like, "No, no, no." Where you know? They really want to know. Same thing. Like people are very religious here in their communities, religious. Um, but no, like my parents were super into like uh, like Persian food and shit like that. And I didn't really like it that much, but also I didn't like that people would be like, like teachers in middle school, they'd be like, oh, so do you really like, like Persian food? I'd be like, no, I don't eat that shit, you know? Like I was very like... And then you go against it. I go against it. But I I also don't really identify with it that much, which is... Did you ever go to the country? No. No. Yeah. Do you know the language? I could, I could understand it, but I can That usually affects it. If you don't actually go visit there... 
and like get to know like your family members from yeah. there. Yeah, like, but also by the time I was born, my parents had been in the U.S. for a long time, mm-hmm. and so I like they had already been kind of like westernized yeah. or whatever, mm-hmm. and I, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't feel like I've ever been treated differently because of like even though I my dad's from there and stuff, like it's yeah. not I've I've never I've never like had any consequences. I mean, maybe at the most like a job application if someone read my name, but for the most part I don't I I don't know the experience of like what my dad had for like what anyone Yeah. Has, yeah. You know? Is is this something you you're you're aware of that you wouldn't do in public? Me? Yeah. Uh, I think more to do with being a woman. Like, there's things in public where I feel like if I do it, people are either thinking, like, that slut or, like, yeah. that person. Oh, like uh, what? Like, for instance, um, if I'm wearing, like, a crop top or something. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm wearing, like, a crop top or something and I'm on the subway and, like, I don't want to stand right in front of mm-hmm. someone sitting because, yeah. like, in my mind they're, like... Or they're just like, oh, like, she wants to get in my face. Or, like, just things where I feel like people are perceiving that I'm asking to be treated some kind of way. You know what's funny? Uh, It's like, uh, sorry, I interrupted you. I was just very (laughs) eager. Um, I I have a friend who, like, she was, like, uh, she texted me. She's like, hey, I'm in your area. Let's hang out, like, some morning. And she's like, "Uh, can you bring me a jacket? I'm like, all right. And uh, so... We meet up, and then she's like, she, she's like, give me the jacket. I'm like, okay. And I give it to her, and I'm like, what's up? And she's like, oh, I just hooked up. I slept at a guy's house. Like, people are, it, it looks like, and she was wearing regular clothes, but mentally, yeah, yeah, yeah. She mentally, she's she she walking shame. She she walk shame. Yeah. She's shaming herself. You know, she's shaming herself. Yeah. But, um. Like, this thing's good. But do you ever, is, uh, do you feel weird about scratching your butt in public? Um, I mean, I'll do it, like, it's casually, I guess. No, I'm asking, I don't know if it is a thing for girls, I don't know. Because I feel, I don't feel, I, here's the thing, I don't feel too weird about scratching my butt in public, but if I was a girl, maybe I would. Yeah. There's, there's things that I see, that, like, white people, like, like, maybe white people do, yeah. that I'm like, I, I wouldn't do. Like what? Like, like uh, sit in the grass in public. What? Jimmy. I mean, I mean, like at Central Park? Yeah. Just Thompson like, Square <laughs> Park? The funniest thing, the, there's the, the Newark gym, there's a park where all the homeless people uh, uh, congregate, I guess. Yeah, sure. But for some of the last weekend, it was a beautiful day. And uh, <laughs> they were all like sunbathing. And it was weird <laughs> that they were all just homeless and just sitting in the grass, just like, fuck it, we got nowhere else to go. <laughs> and I was like, that's that's a comfortable low. Like, like eh, no, I wouldn't. Uh, I, I, yeah. There was a there was a park walking in, barefoot in Berkeley in that was the homeless. Oh, it was a great park, but the homeless owned it. You yeah. know, they were crazy homeless. Yeah. And they just lived there, yeah. and people couldn't go in the park. It was, you know? it was, it was um, I feel like it makes the most sense if you're homeless to station to at a park. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, it makes sense. But it was like everybody Wait, wants sitting to go in the grass, Jimmy. That's a white person it's, thing. It's 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 um. I I'll do shit like that. Like I'll yeah. sit in a weird way. I'll do something, something. and my dad will be like. Wait, and it's something I would never even think of as being a weird thing. Like, and so then he'll be wait, like, sitting? I'm, I'm an active, yeah, like, I'm, I'm an active Oh, person. so you have your so, legs so, or something? Or yeah. just like laying down in a chair. Just like things are sitting down in a place that people aren't sitting on the floor. Or, like things like that. I don't yeah. know. But I think that's a think, personal but, yeah. thing. That has nothing to do with like, 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 like I, I saw a guy, maybe because he was still drunk, but, it, but he just laid down in the subway and waited for the train. And I was like, how yeah. fucking... Comfortable? Do you got to be with yourself? You know, just to, to lay down. On the just train. to lay oh, that's, down. That's something else. On, not on the, just on the platform. Oh, on the platform. Yeah, oh, just, that's just gross. lay down. He was like on the floor. Yeah, feet up. Oh, they do that. They just put their bag on. I was the like, floor. my back on the. That's allow disgusting. Me to be there. Yeah, that's comfortable. Disgusting. You know, and I don't know. You know what's funny is like I feel like uh, there's a certain level of comfort that. If you have that level of comfort, it, it's almost like people you, people are first going to assume you're homeless because you're too comfortable. Like I was on a train and I saw a guy laying down on the seat and everyone kind of stood back from him. And, and my first thought was like, oh, this guy's obviously homeless. But I have no idea to this day. He could have just been like a guy who's like, fuck it. You know? It's hard to tell with hipsters too. It's yeah. Like the homeless hipsters. Hipsters yeah. or people who have like enough uh, gall, you know, to do yeah. something like that. So comfortable. Right? So yeah. comfortable. Thank you. I'm almost there. Yeah. yeah. What are your guys' position on 
eat, dine, like eating at a restaurant, but outside, I outdoors. Only because I definitely oh. <laughs> did that I one don't. time. I was, I was like, this is so uncomfortable. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't like people watching me. <laughs> no, I don't like wow. people walking, walking by. by dogs, me. cars, no. No. construction. Yeah, I like it. Construction, <laughs> cars, dogs. I, don't, I used to work in restaurants, so I don't like eating in restaurants. I just walk by. I walk by and I just want to throw their food. Wait, where are you from? <laughs> I have that little feeling. I'm from Seattle. I think maybe that has something. We both come from places that are kind of open spread yeah. where people are just out in the open. But New York is very like yeah, you do everything yeah. in private. And these restaurants, everybody's right next yeah. to each other. I was like, how are you? They're like elbow to elbow and acting like we're in our conversation. It's like you're all eating together. It's, it's, you know what it is? It's like I'm I'm <laughs> indoors all the time in New York. Any chance Man. I have to be outside, I'll yeah. be outside. But know? they're on. T- they're like they're like this. And they're like, we'll be together, and they'll be together. But then it was like, we're all at the same table. I was like, this, that's... Is dumb. it spacious inside? No, it's like... it's like. So you're just saying tables. you wouldn't eat at this restaurant. No, this has nothing yeah, to do with inside, I outside. Yeah. I would definitely not do that outside, but it, but the inside looks uncomfortable. So, yeah. I don't... Wait, I, you're like, saying well, that's well, a, I wouldn't eat at restaurants. No. Oh, but yeah. you just don't eat in restaurants? No. Nah, period. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot of... Uh, <laughs> that's not what he's right. saying. No. But he's saying when I eat outside. Yeah. No, but I'll so if if you are eating at a restaurant, yeah. you have the option of outside, inside. Definitely There's inside. equal amount of spacing inside. 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 Yeah, inside. Same. All right. I never yeah. thought about the New York people kind of are in there, but yeah. that makes sense because yeah. I swear I had my earphones in and there was a song and I was kind of like wanting to dance to it and just to see what would happen. I tried to and. He, like you know, you'd imagine people look yeah. at you funny. They mm-hmm. avert their eyes. Yeah. They completely look yeah. away, like they don't want. Yeah, like well, it was like. Mm-hmm. I'll do that. I'll dance a little bit, but then there are people who like they go way too much, and you're like, okay, this person's insane. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> like I, I feel myself when I get into it. I was like, oh yeah, you look crazy right now. And, yeah. 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 yeah, or people are smiling, listening to music. That is. Crazy. Yeah, I know the only times I'm very ultra aware of I must look crazy to people is when I'm on the train and I'm like doing a bit in my head and I'm like making the faces and shit. I'm like, oh, yeah. I know I look yeah. crazy yeah. right yeah. now. When you have a good bit and you're rolling, yeah, yeah, and yeah. You're laughing, you're like, that's funny. Yeah. And you're like, oh, fuck, I look crazy. It's right. Like, it's so <laughs> interesting how in New York there's such a thin line between like looking sane and insane. Yeah. We're all crazy. You guys ever like are, are in your, your headphones and like you're listening to like a funny podcast and then somebody that's kind of funny looking passes by and you laugh but because of the whatever is being said and then oh, you feel bad about like no. oh shit like I'll do that they're, they're gonna think that I'm laughing bitching. at them but I'm not I'm just laughing at what yeah. I'm listening to yeah. no no yeah. Uh, I think anyone not, who's like not very self conscious will understand you know that you're probably not laughing at them. If they see you with your headphones on, people are like, yeah. You can get away with that. My dad wrote a porno is the only podcast where I actually like am like laughing out loud and can't. Your dad was My dad wrote a porno. Have you not heard that? Oh my God, it's so funny. I like like (laughs) Tim Dillon. Whose podcast is it? Uh, it's just some British guy. His dad, dad after like porno. after like the whole uh, Fifty Shades of Grey thing, his dad's like, I could do that, and mm-hmm. writes a book, and it's like awful. Mm-hmm. And so he reads it with two of his friends. Like, and each week they do a chapter, and they just like laugh about how. Like, have, have they finished it yet? Uh, he's re- he wrote four books. They're not <laughs> long. Whoa. They're not long, oh. and they're like, and he's like, his he's anatomy's like, totally yeah. off. Like, yeah. he doesn't know the name. Like, he's like grabbed her by the cervix. Like, <laughs> like what? It's wild. Can it's people cool. order the books? That's yeah, funny. you can on uh, Amazon. It's like a dollar. Oh, that's funny. Oh, Tim you got a message from Buker. Buker, Patrick Buker. He's not going to make it. He's like, oh, he's saying right. Man, Tim Dillon's podcast is funny. Um, Everyone loves him. No, he is a shit. Dave, Dave's on a regular. You, he, he, man, thank I like you. you too. I, I like you more. You're the shit. Right, oh, um, regular. Yeah, I've, it's I been rarely... a couple days now. Oh, okay. Couple I, days. I feel like you, 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 you two would be in like warring countries. Like you would hate each other, but you guys is, like just because you're, you're like you're Jewish. like yeah, is he Jewish? No, you're Jewish. But he, yeah, he's not Jewish. Jewish. Yeah, he is. He, he said you're Jewish. I'm not. No. Yeah, and you both think each other are Jewish, and then that's why you <laughs> fight. Like because he's fucking Jewish, and you're the same people. I, I saw him one time on the street, and I was like, he's, he's like, like you're Jewish. he's like, are you going to the lantern? And I was like, ah, uh, no, I don't. You know, I don't like paying for it. And he's like, are you sure you're not Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. It's, no, it's good. Yeah. It's spot on. It's yeah. not just like a, where. Oh, but he's from like a Spanish country or something. The the oh, the white the white Africans. The, the, he doesn't like me calling white Africans. He's yeah. white Africans. Yeah, white Africans. Morocco. Yeah. Oh, she I said. Know. I said white Africans. She said Morocco. 
Morocco? That's hilarious. <laughs> South Africa. Oh, South Africa. Oh, right, South Africa. Or South Africa. He's like yeah. 10 white people in South Africa. Right? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he almost has the swagger. He almost has the swagger, but then he goes on stage and he's like, I'm Jewish. Uh, <laughs> it's done. Done after that. <laughs> Confidence. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, um, what else is there? I, I saw Rock Rambo. Oh, Rambo. yeah. How was that? Rambo. It was probably bad. Huh? Um, it, it was it was 80s bad, so it was really good. Oh, okay. It, good, it was, good, it was good. fucking... I, I liked it a lot. I'm going to see it again. Wow. Um, it, for the end scene. All these movies are, are good and are okay until the end. And the end is like, oh, this is what I came here for. And but with I, those movies, it doesn't really matter. No, it's, a, it's an old movie that you want to yell at the screen, too. So you, mm. you, you want to just... I don't, I don't, you guys can't relate. Uh, no, I know what you're talking about. My dad would always tell me that. Because the whole theater was like, oh, shit. And he's, yeah. like, he's just killing people. He's just fucking, I don't, I don't like hey, that he's killing Mexicans at an alarming rate. He's killing a lot of, like, like he had to, something to get off, get off his chest, you know? And, and, and if I was Mexican, I'd be yeah. a little offended. I like, think, I think Mexicans now, they're still okay to be, like, Evil henchmen or villains in movies it's, without, it's that, without the, anyone saying anything. The cartel, like mm. if it's cartel related, or they have to have this bad, you know. What I've noticed though is that in shows, when you're supposed to be Mexican, they're not Mexican. They're, they're like, like they're like buy forever. Are you Mexican? Oh no, I'm just gonna get some okay, shit. Okay, good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever like in shows they have to play like a Mexican, a lot of times they're not Mexican. They're like from some other. The fucking lead, the, the the gang, the lead gang guy is. Is from Spain, mm-hmm. and I went with the sole purpose. I wanted the Mexicans to be like Rambo, like that one big scene. But nobody ever said it. They called him. Like, they found out his name. They're like, "Your name is John Rambo." What does that mean? So it's, what? That one dude on the left talking about me looks like James Pontillo if he yeah. were Navajo. Oh, oh you? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Who was I talking about? You look like James Pontillo. Yeah, oh, I see that. <laughs> I love how I was insulted but thinking it was me and then I was, I was like oh yeah he's right he's James Pontillo he's another comic that Paul Benny tied it's not a comic oh, who was I talking about Sly? oh yeah it's Sly <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be uh, I just thought you like post them later I don't know what I thought she was going to ask you not to post this you've been on there like five times I love, I, love, I, love, I love when people say some shit and be like did you post that it's like my dad saw somebody wrote me the other day it was like my dad won't speak to me now because of your podcast I know my I was dad like, was not appreciating this <laughs> is my sole purpose to ruin families Tommy Pickles oh, he's talking about me now I feel like you sound right. like Tommy Pickles? No, dressed like Tommy, like, Tommy. Uh, Tommy Pickles. He's uh, the from, baby from Rugrats. The baby? They're all babies. Oh, the, main baby. the main baby. The main okay. baby. Yeah. No, they call they called him Juanito the Gringo, the whole movie. In Rambo? In Rambo. They, they were like, yo, get to Juanito, Juanito the Gringo. Did they have like, the accents, the Mexicans? Everybody but the lead... The lead, the henchman, the, the 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 main guy, because he's really from Spain, so he had a full English accent. So he's just like Rambo. I was like, this is whack. You know what I noticed, Jimmy? With those like corny action movies and stuff, they've toned down the like. They're like, okay, we'll do a Mexican, but we'll do him uh, yeah. not all the way. Like he'll only have a slight no, accent. He wasn't a good Mexican. Come on in, hi. Hey. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> he's like, is this the right? Is this where they're killing people? <laughs> is, is it the mic? Uh, yes. This yeah. is the mic. This, this is the podcast, podcast before the mic. Oh, you so can have talk. A seat, hang there. out. Cool. Say your name really loud. Oh, James Paul Montillo says I am. Uh-huh. Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. But the question I signed up on mine, my name's Rachel. Literally, I signed up for anything. I don't know if I'm signed up or not. If I need to sign up. Well, we're live on Facebook, so nobody cares. Uh, but <laughs> in like ten minutes, I'll care. And then just have a seat. I'll take care of you. Nice to meet you. I try to move in, move off of the top. Well, like, wait, wait, let's listen to this. And then you're like, okay, nobody cares. <laughs> I wanted to give her. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Real nice, Jimmy. <laughs> she was so... And so now bad. now this is what's going to happen. You're going to go, do you remember what you were talking... No? No, oh, I don't okay. remember. I don't remember. Was yeah. it Rambo? Was it, I, don't I don't remember. Oh, it was Rambo. Okay. What? I was saying... <laughs> in action movies, they used to go all the way. If they had like a Mexican henchman, they do the full accent, like yeah. "Hey, you yeah. motherfucker!" But now they but do they like a little, a little accent. <laughs> She's like, "Oh, I didn't know it was going to be like this." You always assume when somebody's leaving, it's because of something. I know it's always because of me. 
No, it's not. not See, this is the paranoia. Yeah, that guy was going to take a shit, and he's like, oh, he said something racist. That's no. why he's leaving. <laughs> I think she did leave him. I think she did leave him. No, she left her back. Uh, no, That's she, my she, back. She, uh, no, she walked out of her back. She'll be back. Yeah. I, I mean, I can they always <laughs> come back. They always come back. Yeah. Jamie always, always wins. I feel like the girls don't come back. Like, Sometimes the girls come back I'm and they back. realize nothing else is going on. But she's cool. Don't no, yeah, she's cool. Know. If the cool ones come back, that's all that matters. But, she, but you you don't honestly think she left. No, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, sure. But I feel like a little bit of you does think that. This we is, don't I, know. We don't know. I don't know. She could have left. Know. I feel like I could see her huffing and puffing and leaving. But Was that your first <laughs> instinct when she left? That, that was uh, nice really? Whenever someone's walking out, yeah. I have like We're two comics. scenarios in my head of like, oh, they're leaving and they're mad, or I'm like, oh, or they just are getting a glass of water, and then yeah. I just wait to see which one. Uh, but I, 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 I think if somebody just, moves during your set, it's because of you. I no. think it was because you said. I, I think it was because you were like, no one cares or something. I know. I, like, I felt. I felt. Like yeah. Oh. Like you don't have to say that. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> say that. I don't say it. I say it to everybody. Yeah, yeah I know. But, but she you doesn't know you. Yeah, know, exactly. They don't know you. Also, whenever I have to pee. During other people's sets, I'm thinking like, "Oh God, they think I hate them and that I don't want to listen." But <laughs> no, I like, see, I can't hold it anymore. I don't have it. Like, yeah. like, hey, mom, want to take a shit? You know, whatever. That's the paranoia I'm talking about. I don't. I think you have a lot of that. Jimmy. I'm, I'm aware. You know, I'm, I'm more aware. In a, you know, yeah. <laughs> She was expecting a white host, and he's like, oh, it's the They usually are. They usually are. They're like, with like, a name like Your picture is on the thing. You signed right? the thing. You're you. Yeah, that's not right, too. They're like, <laughs> you know what you get. Man. They're like, oh, it's just a caricature. That's not what you get. That's if I just use the black guy. Yeah. Black face, black face, your, your mic's cool. Oh. We, yeah. I, I'll say that I don't really like talking about like her. <laughs> what if I did that? What if I put a white face on? Yeah, put you on my mic. So you see you'd have a lot more people. Hey, you <laughs> man, um, put, put you put just change up the pictures on the. Phone. She told you she was <laughs> getting <laughs> drunk. Oh, oh, I said that. Oh, I said that exact thing. You I said quit. those scenarios, but I knew it was, that's what it was going to be. It's oh. funny because like the, the two of us were like, "Yeah, I think she's gone." No, bro, I said, oh, hey, you guys are a bad sample for what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Paranoid. But I, okay, Jimmy. I don't like yes. talking about like news events because we're. Oh, I try to get away from it because we can talk about what's going on here. It's more fun. But because we're talking about blackface, I want to mention the Trudeau thing. Oh, yeah. And I, I, I got to say, I think he was unattractive. He wouldn't have got away. With it. What? Not, wait, did he get away? Oh, with it? Or Canadian. Less. They, they, you wouldn't accept this apology as much. I just want to say, this. Brush on the table. It's, it's like, yeah, it's brown. I was young. I was dumb, and I'm sorry. And everybody's like, oh, that's cool. And he oh, said, really? also, I did blackface, too, but I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't know that. He's a oh, yeah. He's a yeah. Dude, have you He's seen the picture? It's hilarious. It's picture it. <laughs> it's hilarious. I saw the picture of it. It's hilarious. Yeah, but what are you going to see? It's less good. Oh, I was going to say, I'm just... Everyone's always like, oh, he's such a good boy, a good boy. And I'm just glad, finally, some dirt some comes out on him. Because I'm like, okay, point. see? Yeah. yeah. He's you not know? perfect. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they all, like, perfect. all the ladies love him. He's attractive. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's like, he like oh, you know what's, you know what's, <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw him planking like, yeah. like you know what's funny too is like I feel bad for because if you were in the '90s and you just really liked costumes, you probably did blackface at some time, especially young cops. Yeah, absolutely, that's got to suck if you just really like you know getting dressed. Like, up. I never knew that blackface was a thing until like maybe like when I got to college. Yeah. But like, because yeah. I remember I was talking about the N word one day. I don't, mm-hmm. Do you remember this? Yeah. I was like, because I didn't know that these things were like a like just one thing. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know blackface was a thing. Well, that's the thing. It's like during when he did it. I don't know. I guess it's like an American because I'm like I grew up. I'm Mexican, so like I grew up culturally Mexican. Like, no, so I don't like, even think that's it. I think when Trudeau did blackface, it wasn't as big a deal as it was now. You know? Does Canada have? I mean, it's pretty much the same, right? <laughs> what? Canada. Canada. There's no black they, No, I mean, but what? They, did they also have like what menstrual shows about? and stuff? They, they did. Oh, probably. They did. Yeah. yeah. They did. Not, not I mean, not that it matters, severe, but I was just but curious. It was, um, no, it does matter because maybe... It, they, it was a form of, of entertainment for, you know, yeah, for a time. So yeah. until we were like, yeah, this is fucked up, you know, yeah. that was entertainment then, you know? But you also have to think, Trudeau didn't grow up. It's not like he was like, ooh, this is just like a minstrel, you know what uh-huh. I mean? He didn't know what was wrong. He was ignorant, so... Yeah. You know, I, I think. When he did the brown face, oh, literally the brown... I mean, the brown face came out first, but he did the black face first, so... It's clear he yeah. just really liked to dress up, I mean, you yeah. know? 
And I, and I feel like it's it's timing. It's political. And, it's timing, yeah. You know, somebody's, you know. I was telling someone else, can you imagine having, being the person who has those photos and you're just oh getting, you're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dirt. Dude, I would be so excited if I had the Trudeau pictures. I'd be yeah. dancing in my room like, oh, this is going to be huge. Yeah. Out there, you know? What about like bodybuilders? They, they get, they like, don't they like bronze themselves? Yeah, they, they, it's the same thing. Bronze right? There's no difference. <laughs> Um, we gotta wrap this up. Uh, 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 thank you. Tell them where they can find you. Uh, I have an open mic every Wednesday at Alligator Lounge at 8 p.m. You guys are all welcome to come. It's a great mic. Uh, other than that, I'm Kev the Comic on Instagram and Twitter. Does not look like a Warby Parker picture. He says it looks like a Warby Parker commercial. I don't know who Warby Parker is. glasses. Uh, this is Warby Parker. Oh, is it? Glasses, yeah. Oh, they oh. Spot <laughs> on, Michael Verdi. Nice. Uh, uh, where can they find you? Uh, Nasil and he has, oh no, wait, at I Z I L I U M on Instagram. Is he? Kind of. Say your whole name? Oh, Nasil Ezeal. Oh. I don't know, I was wondering what I Z I L was. That's why I laughed. Nissel Izzel, that's what I said. Nissel Izzel. Nissel This sounds like a Snoop Dogg thing. That's what I said. Oh, like this is a real person. Yeah. This is my spot over here. Nissel Izzel. Oh, Orlando Perez, Orlando P. Comedy. That's it. Nice. Cool, cool. Uh, give, give it up for them one more time. Uh, uh, this is another episode of the People's Mic. Uh, it's episode 437. You can find it on iHeartRadio, Spotify, JimPeoples.com. Big shout out to everybody who's listening. Michael Verdi, hi. Go do something better with your life. Uh, um, we're every day, Monday to Friday, at Otto Shrunkenhead. Thank you for them for letting us do this. We're at 215. For the podcast, three o'clock. I don't know why I always look at somebody for confirmation. Yeah. Two fifteen, right? Uh, three o'clock field mic on Saturdays. We're at Niagara on Seventh and Avenue A. Uh, at four thirty for the podcast and five thirty for the open mic. Now, uh, if you're out of town, comic, you can DM me, grab a seat. You're more than welcome, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Bye.